Oh yes, good to see you, yes. Cast shade on those haters, yes. Oh, uh, hello, I'm Samius Tuckensberger from the EU Parliament. And I'm here to tell you about a wondrous new law coming next month called Article 13. We've just now finalized the wording of it and I think you're going to love it. Now before I begin, some uninformed people have said that this bill will have dire and unintended consequences. But I put to you, what does Tim Berners-Lee know about the World Wide Web, apart from inventing the bloody thing? So what is Article 13? Well, let me read out the definition from Wikipedia. Founder Jimmy Wales, he defines it as a complete disaster. Oh, poppycock Jimmy. He probably read one of our draft versions. But now we've finalized the wording for the bill. We've taken into consideration everyone's complaints and concerns. And this version has been heralded as the worst one yet. Shit. So basically, Article 13 just holds the big tech giants like YouTube personally responsible for every second of the 1,000 hours of video uploaded to their site every five minutes. To be safe, YouTube will have to make sure that everyone has the proper license for all the snippets of music, movies, memes, and shows on their website, which you could call a license for every piece of content in the world ever. And this small measure is just to ensure proper compensation to the little guy. You know, the struggling independent artist, like James Cunn or James Blunt. The proposals in Europe to ensure online services get licenses for the music they use are so important. Creators need the support of members of the European Parliament. That's right, James, because the current system is woefully inadequate. You see, if a YouTube video today features a musician's song, they don't get paid any money for it. I'm talking about the YouTuber. No, the music label gets all the money. Even if it was just a few seconds of the song used, if it was a parody, or, or simply implying that the song exists. Oh sure, sometimes they share the revenue with the YouTube creator, along with 12 other copyright holders. Oh, more people have a right to that song than my son's timeshare in Brunswick. Bedroom suites, dining room, and wonderful land. Why don't you come for yourself in Brunswick and Footscray? Since YouTube can't police all of its creators to make sure they have the proper licenses, the site said they'll just have to block all videos in the EU apart from those from major television networks, turning the website into a lifeless corporate wasteland. Also known as the trending tab. As you can see, this is fantastic, and I'm happy to say that we'll be passing this bill into law at the end of March or start of April in 2019. And if you have a problem with us shutting down YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter, at least once we pass it, you won't be able to complain on Facebook, YouTube, or Twitter. Subscribe today! Yes, that's right, my liege. If we can shut down the internet before Brexit fully happens, we can shut down PewDiePie. Excellent. <laughs> Punk it down. Well, everyone, that all sounds pretty shit, doesn't it? Good news is, if you live in the EU, apparently there's an election coming up. So you write to your ministers and say, if you pass this crap, I'm not going to vote for you. And then put your mouth where your vote paper is and put it in the bucket or whatever you do. There, I don't know. I got other.